In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create this bad print title animation. Hey guys, my name is Manuel. We'll use a ton of standard effects and some basic expressions to animate it. And let's dive right in. I've already created a comp. HD resolution, 3 seconds long. First of all, let's add a new solid, which is our background. Color doesn't matter because we add a turbulent noise effect. I use the effects and presets window to search for it. We add it, of course. Then let's adjust some settings. Basic, soft linear is fine. Contrast, 750. Brightness, 175. In transform, we set scale to 20. We increase the complexity, 20 as well. We slightly reduce the opacity to 80. We created these little dots, let's animate them by adding an expression to the evolution. First of all, we reduce the frame rate to 8 frames per second. We add posterized time with a big T and 8 in parentheses, semicolon. Then we add a time expression to animate the evolution, time asterisk 100, which means the evolution changes 100 degrees per second. And yes, you could add the posterized time effect as well, which would affect the whole layer though. So if you want to reduce the frame rate for just one property, use this expression. Next, we duplicate the turbulent noise effect. Set its contrast to 1250, brightness to 270. In transform, we deselect uniform scaling. Set scale width to 400, scale height to 10. And to blend both effects together, we set the blending mode to multiply. Awesome, a pretty smooth animation the reduced frame rate adds some roughness to it. Next, let's grab the title tool and add some text. I use a font called BioSuns Extra Bold, one of my favorites. It's available on Adobe Fonts. Size 520 pixels, leading 380. Color almost black. RGB 202020, oh, <laughs> very dark gray. I left align the text. All right. Let's add more effects. The first one, roughen edges. Edge type, rusty. Border, 4. Scale, 50. Next, let's add turbulent displays. Displacement, horizontal displacement. Amount, 10 should be enough. Size, 10. Again, we animate the evolution with an expression. We reduce the frame rate, posterize time, 8 in parentheses, semicolon. Time, asterisk, 100 again. Then we add a displacement map. This effect needs a displacement map layer, which we don't have yet. Let's use the background solid to create it. We duplicate it and name it displacement map. Almost. Now, we need to adjust some of the settings. Noise type, block. Contrast, 850. Brightness, 220. In transform, we deselect uniform scaling. Scale width, 2000. Scale height is 100. Let's open all expressions, double E. We click into the upper expression field and add a zero here. Time asterisk, 1000. Opacity, back to 100%. Next, let's adjust the second one. Contrast, 1440, brightness, 300. Scale, both 20. We add one more effect, let's add scatter. Amount 2, which adds more noise. Awesome. We select the text layer again and choose the displacement map layer as displacement map layer. Effects and masks, we set max horizontal displacement to 10, vertical displacement to 0. Then we animate the horizontal displacement property with an expression. Again we reduce the frame rate to 8 using the posterized time expression. Posterized time in parentheses 8 semicolon. Then in the next line <laughs> we ignore the error message and use the Gauss random expression. Gauss random, big R, we add 5,15 in parentheses. So the Gauss random expression picks values between 5 and 15 randomly, but sticks more to the middle numbers around 10, which makes it feel more natural. 
and that's why I prefer it to the random expression. Finally, we use the displacement map layer as Luma Mat. We use the pick whip tool in the track mat column and link the text layer to the displacement map layer. And click on this left checkbox here to turn it into a Luma mask. Before we move on, let's check out an amazing animation course by Domestica. Learn how to create expressive typography in motion with After Effects. Design letter forms in Illustrator and animate them in After Effects. Start with research and references, color, and then design a lettered phrase in Illustrator. In After Effects, animate it using kinetic typography. I've added the link to this course and all animation courses to the description. Use the code MANUALDESMOTION10 for an extra 10% off. Alright, let's add some more detail. We duplicate the text layer, move it below, and unlink the mask. In Turbulent Displace, we increase the amount to 20, the size to 50, complexity 10. Then we go into the Max Horizontal Displacement Expression, it's the bottom one, and change the Gauss random values to 0 and 5, so less movement. Then let's add a new effect, Gaussian Blur. Blurriness, 40. Next, we select the background solid to add a new solid above it. We name it Dots, and this time the color is black. Of course, we add an effect. This time it is CC Ball Action. Grid spacing, 3. Ball size, 50. And we just created a dotted texture. We use the second text layer as an alpha mat for the dots layer, so we link it to the text layer. Awesome! Let's add some more animations. We add an opacity animator to both text layers. Set the opacity to 0. And in advanced we set smoothness to 0 as well. Nothing is smooth in this animation. The same for the second text layer. Opacity and smoothness to 0. Next we open the scale and position properties of both text layers. Then we link the bottom position and scale properties to the top ones. And we open both opacity animators and its range selectors. Because we need to link the bottom start and end properties to the top ones as well. Because we only want to animate the top text layer, and not both of them, right? Alright, in the range selector of the opacity animator we adjust the start property value, so that the first letter is visible, and add a keyframe at the beginning. Next we set scale to around 950%, and move the text layer to the left side of the screen. Set keyframes for the two properties at the beginning. We press U to see all keyframes. Then we move to 4 frames. Reduce the size to around 280%. And center the letter, roughly. At 8 frames, the first line is completely visible, so we adjust the start value and the position. We scale it up again to around 500%. Alright. At 12 frames, we scale it down to 100%. We move the text to its end position. And add another start keyframe. At 18 frames, we set the start value to 100%. Let's adjust the position some more. Awesome! We select all keyframes except these two last start keyframes. Right click on one of the selected ones and turn them into toggle hold keyframes, which creates jump cuts. Finally, we add an adjustment layer. Which means we add another effect, of course. Noise. Here it is. Amount 5%, no color noise. Then we add exposure. To randomly change the brightness. You probably know it. We add an expression to the exposure property. Add posterized time. 8 in parentheses, semicolon. Then use the Gauss random expression again. Gauss random, then minus 1, 2 in parentheses. And this is the last effect, I promise. Invert. We animate the blend with original property. Zero at the beginning, 
then 100 at 2 frames, 0 at 12 frames and 100% at 14 frames again. Let's press U to actually see the keyframes. We select them all and turn them into toggle hold keyframes. Awesome! This is how basic expressions can make your life so much easier. Imagine if you had to animate everything by hand. Make sure to check out the free project file and all the other links in the description. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and hit the bell, because you don't want to miss my next video. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye, guys!